BioV is a clinical stage company developing innovative drug therapies for neurological and neurodegenerative diseases. And with me is the CEO, Kong Do, to explain the company, give us a little bit of an update. I know you just had BioV Day. How did that go? Tell me about that. It's, it was terrific. You know, BioV is a biotech company that's currently developing any 3107 for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. And we use BioV Day to announce a new clinical trial that we are launching based on the results of our earlier study that showed that patients with Alzheimer's, with mild Alzheimer's and MCI, over mild cognitive impairment. So think of it as pre-Alzheimer's. These patients showed a reversal of their cognitive decline after three months treatment with any 3107 So the new trial we are launching builds upon that. This trial should start in hopefully May or June and should provide data by early 2024. We're excited about this because should we get the positive data, the affirmation of what we saw earlier, we can use the results from this new trial along with the expected positive result from our phase three that's currently underway and should end by later part of this year. We could use the results from both of these trials to try to file with the FDA by 2024. This would accelerate by over two years our ability to bring this innovative drug candidate to patients who need it. So that's why we're so excited about this. Yeah. Well, and what's so interesting about your company is you have this kind of different approach to Alzheimer's, which um, involves inflammation. Give me a little background there about the research you're doing and what made you come to that conclusion that that might be an tr effective treatment. You know, it's been known for a long time that inflammation is the starting, chronic low-grade inflammation is the starting point for many things that go wrong in the body. It's been associated with accelerated aging, associated with a large number of aging-related disorders, right, of which Parkinson's and Alzheimer's are two. And frankly, we just got really lucky. We did not set out to design any 3107 to do what it does. We just got lucky in that it blocks inflammation in a very specific way at a very specific place, which essentially had this knock-on effect of improving Alzheimer's cognition, as we saw in our earlier trial, as well as what it's impacted Parkinson's. Well, okay, so let's talk about Parkinson's. April is Parkinson's Awareness Month. How does that affect what you're doing at BioV? You know, I'm very excited about our work in Parkinson's because I believe any 3107 has the potential to become the first new treatment for Parkinson's patients since the introduction of the drug Levodopa 50 plus years ago. Levodopa is a terrific drug in that it helps patients regain motor control, and it remains the standard of care to this day. But there are real limitations to Levodopa that any 3107 could address, and that's why I'm so excited about this. And then you recently presented some data at an international conference in Sweden. So what was that conference? What was the data you presented? The conference was the International ADPD Conference, or Alzheimer's Disease, Parkinson's Disease Conference in Sweden. We showed that patients treated with the combination of any 3107 and levodopa had greater motor control compared to those treated with levodopa alone. The most exciting thing that we found is that patients treated with 3107 had significantly more morning on state, which means that they were still able to have control of their muscles and get out of bed in the morning. This is a big deal because many Parkinson's patients often complain that their muscles are locked in the morning. They can't get out of bed. And that's because the drug Levodopa has worn off over as they slept overnight, right? So any 3107 has a longer duration of action and it has the potential to essentially help control muscles for a longer period of time. Oh, and improve quality of life too. So Absolutely. Imagine not needing help to get out of bed or not having to wait in bed while your levodopa kicks in so that you can get out of bed. What other things do you have on the horizon in the coming months? We have an exciting rest of year ahead. We are launching three pivotal trials, one from MCI or the mild cognitive impairment that we talked about earlier. We are launching a pivotal trial for Parkinson's that we hope to have up and running in August. And we're also launching a pivotal trial for our drug candidate BIV201 for an end-stage liver disease later part of this year. All right, so three registrational trials that we are launching this year. In addition, of course, all eyes are open on our expected results for our Alzheimer's phase three, which hopefully will read out in October of this year.
Okay. Where can someone find out more about BioV and can they watch BioV Day? Is there a recording where they can watch the presentation? Yes. Anyone interested can go to biovpharma.com and there you can watch the replay of the event. And it was a, we spent a couple of hours discussing in detail the science behind our program. We had a QQ opinion leader discuss aging, the aging process, and many exciting more things. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Kong, for joining us again with the update. And you've got an exciting year ahead. I look forward to getting updates from you for the rest of the year. Terrific. Thank you for having me back, Jane.